Welcome back, money team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing up the mad cheese as always. Got another money play scheme for you guys today. Uh, today I'm going to be going over one of my personal favorite schemes. I just used this pretty heavily in a gameplay yesterday. I have a link in the description for that. I also already put out a scheme out of the iForm Close uh, from this playbook. If you guys don't know, the Niners playbook is going to be the first ebook that I do this year. It's going to be the first playbook that I use, that I run. It's just one of my favorite playbooks. So we're going to go, we're going to start off with that. But the formation I'm going to mess with today is one that should look a little familiar if you follow my channel. It's the Gun Split Close. This was one of my favorites last year. There's a lot of changes to it based off the fact that obviously the zones react very differently. So if you did use this formation last year and you want to use it again this year, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. There's also a new Split Close Pro, which has some really interesting plays, which I think ultimately can really mix in well. I'm not sure if I'm going to go into that formation today, but a play like the Shovel Option is a play that definitely would mix in really well. I like plays like that if you have a mobile quarterback. Now, a couple things you can do to make this formation even better. I, number one, always put in a... Uh, running back at the second at uh, the fullback spot um, for blocking maybe the fullback would be a better way to go but ultimately I find it's best to just put in your best running back I'm not really sure who that is I'm gonna guess it's uh, Trevor Sermon uh, as a rookie running back I'm not really sure but that's gonna be something that's important because this is a very good run formation there's a lot of plays in the gun like if you go through most uh, gun formations as I'm accidentally messing up the packages here if you go through most gun formations you really only have the choice of like an inside zone where this formation here you have a choice of a couple different things so let's go ahead and let's start off off with the run plays and then we'll do some pass plays towards the end i'm gonna go to my set my audibles i typically go one of my favorite and the power is already in the audible my favorite run by far is definitely the fullback inside which is another reason why you're going to want to make sure that you have an actual uh running back there because most fullbacks aren't good enough to run that play then i typically just leave it alone i got the halfback wheel i got the paf slide these are going to be some of the better uh pass plays for any scenario i have a lot of one play touchdowns that are covered specific i'm not sure if i'm going to go over that in this video or if I'm just gonna leave that uh, for our next video or put that on my Patreon or my Join Now community tab. So let me know in the comment section or hit, me, hit the like button if you wanna see that. Other than that, let's go and let's pick the fullback inside to start. On the defensive side, we're just gonna match. We're gonna hit random nickel. So like I said, one of the things I like about this uh, as far as the run plays go is you have the option to go in either direction. Most plays, you just have uh, the, the fullback here who's typically a running back doing an inside zone. That's basically what this is. This is an inside zone with a blocker, which if you really wanted to, you could put that, if you run this play a lot, you could put your fullback at uh, the spot that number 31's at there and then give yourself even better blocking. But ultimately, this is definitely the best run play. This look here, though, doesn't necessarily look like the best look, but you can see I still have success. Even if it's not going to be an explosive touchdown run, which I'm hoping to get, um, you're going to have a lot of success with it. So right here. Now, this one, a little bit of a different look. We have a cover three safety coming down in the box there. I'm going to switch it over and go the other way. Go with the power O. Oh, that's the point of this formation when it comes to the run plays. You can really go either way. The bread and butter, in my opinion, is no doubt the halfback inside going in that direction but there will be a lot of times where you know you see a better opportunity just to take this uh sweep wide and you can see how we're just having nothing but success over here so like i said this is one of the one of my favorite formations to run out of and it's also got a lot of explosive one play touchdowns in the past game and when you run these plays you really want to think about um, you know, this is more of an inside run, but you really want to think about it more like they're looping wide runs. You know what I mean? Like you, you typically, you know, it's pretty obvious when it comes to the other play that's best to take the power outside. Although a lot of times I try to take it inside. It's really, this right play is more of an outside read in where the other play, the fullback inside is more of an inside read out. But there's going to be a lot of opportunities where it's best to just run it out wide like this and that's going to be really frustrating for your opponent especially if they're playing as a, a middle linebacker or user or whatever they're going to have a hard time keeping up or you know at least pre-diagnosing where the ball is going to go that's one of my favorite things about this running system is that you can't really tell where the ball is going to go at any given time because it could really go either way you can go left or right and your opponent's going to have a hard time guessing which is going to give you the advantage nine times out of ten so there's a lot of dink and dunk pass plays that are really hard to stop. Let's go ahead and let's pick one of my favorites that I run a lot. Like I said, I was running it in the gameplay that I put out yesterday, the halfback slip screen. I'm just going to go random defense because the next couple plays all pretty much work out against random defenses. So let's go ahead and let's pick random nickel again. This play here, I like plays like this 
where I don't really, I don't like to run screenplays where there isn't a good backup option. This play here has an excellent backup option, which means I'm not dependent on the screenplay working out. That flat right there is a really good play. It's going to have a lot of success. So I typically, I mean, I want the, the Y, you know, play to work, but you can see it's not guaranteed. A lot of times the blockers just mess up or, I mean, there, that was pretty good. I just didn't do a great job, but ultimately this is one of the, uh, the better plays that you can mix in. Like if you don't like right there, they just got all, you know, messed up. So it's, it's something where you want to try to pre diagnose it if it's if you're looking at like a the only thing that really should cover the table route on the right side the rb route is a man coverage so as long as it's not a man coverage you just should know that that should be there all game and then you can just steal that all game and it's also a really good misdirection for your opponent once again you can play this two running back system to the point where your opponent's never really going to be able to get a beat on it they're never really going to be able to guess uh what play which way you're going and you can see like i said right here they're just going to be out of place all the time that's the thing about this formation i like so much it's really a lot of mind games you could play uh the next play is going to be the PAF slide. This is another play where it's all about the running backs once again, although realistically I'm reading RB uh, back. As you can see, we have like a level setup here. We have uh, the RB route and the B route and the A route are all going in one direction. I'm just going to basically go from front to back and take which one I think looks like it's going to be open because a lot of times it's going to be dependent on who the user covers anyway. So you really have to just kind of watch the user or watch the depth of the drops and see to see which one's open. A lot of times I'll also put this X route on a streak. You can motion him out a little bit because I really want to draw attention away as much as possible. So sometimes I'll do that, but it's really, this play here is really all about this RB route. I find this is one of the best catch and run options uh, in the game where you just can steal 10 yards over and over and over or more. Once again, I still have my, my I, I should have switched out my running backs um, so that I could have uh, the best running back where, where, you know, where I have, where I want them. But at the end of the day, you know, I'll, I'll probably just get diminished returns based off of that. Now, if it's a man coverage, you could see I also have, that's my man route. Anytime I see a man coverage, I'll go to the replay because I, I was talking a little bit fast. I, the, the table route or the underneath routes here will not beat man coverage. You can see right here, he's pretty much all over that. That's a pick six waiting to happen. This route above him is typically a really good man beater, although he did a pretty good job. Like I expected a little bit better, <laughs> better separation, but you can see that's your man beater right there. So anytime you see a man coverage, you're going to immediately want to switch your read over. It's pretty good coverage though. Like I said, that's probably, uh, I, don't even, I don't even know who that is, but he's doing a pretty good job. So we backed out real quick. We set our running backs up how we want them because like I said, this is really all about the catch and run after the fact. And you can see like if I have a, an elite speed guy, I'm going to be getting much better results. 15, 20 yards should be the minimum uh, when, when you set your depths or set your running backs uh, depth chart to what you want it to be. So like I said right here, anytime I have that, I typically want to wait till it gets out a little bit further. If you can see on the previous play, he didn't really follow much further. Sometimes I'll get it out a little bit early, but like I said, I, I still think it's best to motion this guy out a little bit. Just try to get that, that cornerback as far away from the line as possible. Here we have that man coverage once again. Like I said, I'll immediately switch over to that B route. He'll always be there against man. The running backs will always be the options against zone. And don't forget about that A route. I haven't really been looking that way because like I said, I'm just comfortable you know, just basically checking it down, catching and running. But that A route gets open against most things. As long as, like I said, the depth, the user is really the most important distinction. As you can see right here, like I said, if I low ball that, I'm low throwing it, hitting the left trigger, or the L2 button if you're on PlayStation um, to get that low throw. In that scenario, I don't think motion in the uh, receiver route's a really good idea. But you can see, I mean, we're having a lot of success with that route too. So you have explosive plays in this play as well. Although the point of this video was a lot of small stuff um, that obviously Obviously, you want to make the bread and butter of your offense before you get to some of the explosive plays, which like I said, I will do in the next video. So if you guys want to see that tomorrow, I can put that out tomorrow. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, I'll do that. It'll be my first uh, one play touchdown based uh, scheme. Um, and it's going to be a lot of it surrounding, you know, maybe one or two plays. So if you want to see that, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.